You'll be glad you joined in tonight. We're going to be talking about the BE2-7 Leashy Pick. Hooray! I made a list of all the Leashy Picks for the U.S. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is Mike with Door and Lock Tips. We're going to be talking about the Leashy Picks, the ones you can get in the USA. I made a list. If you're going to order them, for the USA locks, not cars, not foreign locks, stuff over in France and England and all that stuff. Just the US leashy picks. I made a list of all the leashy picks for the US. I'm gonna show this list at the end of the video and kind of through it. And I'm gonna pick the next in line on this list, which I started with best, B-E-S-T, the brand best. I started with their Leashy Pick, and that was a BE2-6. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Let's get back to the show. So that, what does that mean? BE2-6. Well, that's for a best cylinder, but it's an A, letter A. Doesn't get us through any other cylinder than that. And you know, somebody wrote in, and they said, hey, too bad they don't make a Leashy Pick that it covers everything, right? And I agree. Yeah, stainless, stainless is pretty strong. So if you made it out of titanium, would you buy it? I'd buy it. If he said, hey, you know, it's $250 made out of titanium, but it covers every best cylinder that exists, I'd say I'm all in, I want that pick. I started researching this a little bit. That's why it always helps for you guys to leave a comment. They have one, they, not leashy, but best itself makes a key, and it's a A1114FM. And that exists, because I checked it out with my handy dandy thing, Key Blank Directory 13. I love this thing, it's a great book. So I looked it all up, and sure enough, there is a key that passes. Let me just read them to you. It'll pass A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, L, and Q. I guess they skipped a little bit there. But that key is so paper thin that if you use it many times, it'll snap. I mean, snap. And then you'll have a broken key in your various cylinders. So you don't want to use it as a standard change key. But they make it. You know what would be cool? If you guys had get a hold of Leishi, Mr. Leishi, call him at home in, in Japan. <laughs> That'd be neat. Call him at home. He's probably sitting, uh, drinking a cup of tea or something. Who knows? You know, enjoying beautiful Japan. And say, hey, will you make an FM Leishi Kiwi for best cylinders? Wouldn't that be cool? I'd love that. It would pass everything, but you could only, you know, barely use it. You made it out of stainless. Stainless is pretty strong. So if you made it out of titanium, would you buy it? I'd buy it. If he said, hey, you know, it's $250 made out of titanium, but it covers every best cylinder that exists, I'd say I'm all in. I want that pick. Wouldn't you? I mean, come on. I'd pay that for all kinds of stuff. $250, $300, $400. If it covers every best cylinder, Mmm, I'm all in on that one. So, you know, right about now, if you'd hit that like button, smash it, smash it, smash that like button, you'd help my channel out. Well, let's get back to the show here. We're going to be talking about the next one in line. It's the best, again, uh, leash you pick, but it's a BE2-7. So what does that mean, BE2-7? Dash seven. Where is that bad boy? Here it is, right here. BE two dash seven. Don't forget to hit the like button, tell your friends, and I'll have lots and lots of videos like this. BE two dash seven. Leashy pick. So here it is, BE2-7, great pick. It says it right there 
on the tension bar and it says it right there on the top of the pick and this is for seven pin a again just an a but what a pick this is it took me two and a half days to learn how to tension best cylinders but now i can walk through any best cylinder i want so easily and make your head spin let's take a close look at all this stuff hey guys i'm gonna pick two cylinders with this custom cylinders made super hard and we'll walk right through them a letter only what a pick and it really did take two maybe two and a half days to and my thumb is so sore. I mean, pushing up on this bad boy. Mm. You know, right about now, if you'd hit that like button, smash it, smash it, smash that like button, you'd help my channel out. And you make me feel a lot better because, you know, when I don't see many like smashes, I kind of feel bad. If you'll hit that like button or hit the super thanks, you'll help my channel out so much you wouldn't believe it. I can buy more stuff to show you guys how it all works and make lists. You know, these lists take hours to compile and then I have to go over it again and look at it and I go, oh man, this looks crummy. So let me do something else here and change it and all this stuff. See, I forgot the A on the list. <laughs> The only thing this picture is an A. A is the most popular in the United States of America. So let's get picking. Yeah. You know, guys, I crack myself up sometimes. Um, I started out real early this morning on this leafy show, which I'm going to have a blast doing, but I looked at my hair. <laughs> I crack myself up. I didn't comb my hair. <laughs> you can tell I don't have an assistant. But um, anyway, and I probably should eat something because I don't know. <laughs> I drank coffee all morning. Oh, speaking of coffee, you know you can buy me a cup of coffee. There is a link in the description. All you got to do is buy me a cup of coffee and you would help the channel out so much. Yeah, it's like a donation thing. But it's so easy to do, risk-free, I would appreciate it so much. If you just buy me a cup of coffee, maybe I'll learn how to comb my hair in the morning and uh, have a great show for you guys. Thank you for subscribing, by the way. I've had a blast. I have really had fun. And pretty soon, maybe... If you guys buy me a cup of coffee, you hit that super thanks, I'll be able to make something out of this show. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you know, all these YouTubers out there, they, they, they get like millions of hits and millions and millions of things, right? Well, I'm not in the million yet. But I am having fun. And that's the main thing. And I'm hoping you're learning something. Especially about leashy picks and all these locks. And when I get done showing you guys all the locks, I got them right here on the table, that these leashy picks will pick in the U.S., you will be so happy. I have learned how to pick a best cylinder so easy, it's going to blow your brain. So hang in there. I'm going to switch the camera around. We're going to close-up look on this bad boy and you're going to have fun watching watching that clicks 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 and you're going to see how straightforward it really is with a leashy pick i mean i think probably anybody can do it so let's get into the video now and remember at the end of the video i'm going to have the whole list you can copy down just take a picture with your camera get up close to the screen and take a picture with your camera and the next thing you know You'll be buying all their picks just for the U.S. instead of wasting your time or trying to figure out, looking all over, what does this mean? What does a BE2-7 mean? I mean, for most of us, maybe you'll figure it out. I don't know. It doesn't say A. It would be nice if it said A. Somebody said that in the comment section. Why doesn't it say A? I don't know. Please subscribe to my channel. Get into the show.
Okay, we're going to fly into the project again, which is so much fun. I enjoy working on these leashy picks. So here's the 23 leashy picks that you can buy for the USA, and you're going to just love them. And I put them in their case, their little tool case. I had to erase the words that they had for the tool case and put them all in order as I go through picking the USA locks. So I started with the best six. We're going to do the best seven. Ooh, and it's not in its slot. You know why? Because it's right out here and it's going to pick through this lock. Look at that lock. This is a aluminum storefront lock all set up. I could put that in today if I got a phone call. So it'd be wonderful just to be able to pick through a standard aluminum storefront doorway. And here's the cylinder. This is a removable core best cylinder, seven pin in a housing that is a general lock makes a housing that's reasonably priced. I think this is 13 bucks. It's really nice. I don't think anybody in the U.S. could make that housing for 13 bucks. If you're going to get it from Best, it'll cost you about 65 bucks for their housing. And this is just as good. A little change on the, the front here. It's chamfered. And I did drop it. You don't want to drop these things, guys, because what will happen is you'll wreck the threads and you'll mar it. So it's easy to drop. So let's pick through this thing. You are going to love this. I made it kind of easy for myself. I bent the uh, vise down. This is from Panavice. Great, great vise. Holds the lock just perfect. I had to put leather in here, which is nice. Leather so that it wouldn't slide around. I changed the vise jaws to friction works vice jaws that was kind of troublesome but there's the lock let's get picking through this bad boy so I'm gonna set this camera up in a, a, a tripod so let's get on with the show because you're gonna be freaking out how easy this is to use please subscribe to my channel first of all guys you must lubricate your cylinder I pin this up and then I Pinned it to a master key system. So here's the uh, the bidding of it. 5476943. Now, I'm not going to try to show you the ins and outs of lock picking. I'm going to show you one thing here. I'm going to show you how easy it is to go through a best cylinder with a master key system or whatever system that belongs to the best cylinder and seven pin. So if somebody, if you come up to an A doorway, right, an A cylinder, and it's a best cylinder, but it's in the A flavor, which is the, the warding on the key, those little angles on the key. If it's A, like this one on the tip, if you're looking at the tip, that's how it works. You look at the tip and Here's the milled slots on the side of the key. There's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all kinds of flavor of these keys. So the warding on the, on the lock and the milling on the key is an A. So let's see if it works. I'm going to stick this right in here. This is subscribe to my channel. Let's see. This is the control key. So control key, I got it stamped control. And this takes the cylinder out, you can see it's seven pin. And how you can see that is you just count the top caps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pin. They're all in there, by the way. Yeah, I'm not here to fool anybody. This is a serious way of lock picking with the leashy pick. So there's the cylinder. It's in a real lock a storefront lock and I think you need to see that 
All right, here's the pick. Now, I highly suggest you lubricate the cylinder, and then you, if you have a key or if you just have a blank, if you have a blank, carry a blank around with you, an A blank, because you need to make sure when you lubricate this that those pins are loose. Because if they're not loose, if it's a brand new cylinder like this one, they're tight. And man, there's, there's a break-in period on these pins. They really do need to be broke in. Uh, two days ago, I could barely get this key in and out of here. And look at how easy it goes in and out, in and out on this. But the more you do that, the more people do that in a facility, the easier it'll be for you to pick your way through. And that just works so nice after lubrication and picking. Now I would use this dry lubricant right here by lab if I'm gonna like put it in right now because I don't want oil and grease dripping down all over my hands and stuff. But I highly suggest a product called TriFlow. Let me go get it. TriFlow. Okay, here's Trifle. It's got a, a lot of Teflon in it, just like this does. So this has Teflon, so this, this has no lubricant in it, so it's a powder form in Teflon. It's not graphite. This is really kind of cool stuff. This is about $37, I think. I paid for this bottle by Lab. But, you know, Lab's the largest pin manufacturer in the world. So here's some TriFlow. This stuff's revolutionary. You spray this down the face of your cylinders every six months and you will never have a problem unless, you know, somebody comes by with a power sprayer and blows some dirt in there or something. But these things are maintenance. You've got to maintain them because the pins in there, there's so many pins and so, uh, I mean, there's so many pins you can't imagine. You just don't want them to jam up so you use TriFlow on them. Let's see how many pins are really in this bad boy. Each stack. So every stack inside this cylinder has one, two, three, four, four pins in each stack times seven. That's how many pins. So you have all these different shear lines, guys. So you actually have one, two, three shear lines for the seventh pin, which is closest to the tip of the key. They call that the, uh, well, I will call this the, the first pin. <laughs> the first pin, it's so hard to remember on these, on these best cylinders because the guy that invented it, he started with the tip of the key. That's number one. Instead of back here by, there is no shoulder. So he, he invented a cool key with no shoulder so you can cut six or seven the depths on the key. No shoulder. That's kind of cool, huh? So let's get into picking. So you stick your pick in there after you've lubricated and slid a key in a few times. Make sure everything's cool, right? So let's get a close look now. I mean it. Thanks. Okay, here we go. It's going to be a blast. Let's make sure the lighting is just perfect so you can see the numbers on the pick. So you have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just get picking. All right, so here we go. Could pick starting all the way deep down in the cylinder, guys. All the way down in. But I spent such a waste of time doing that. And the the pins just keep moving on you. Uh, you know, each cylinder is unique, but I got many of these cylinders, and I pinned them up, and here's just two of them, and I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to pick through a cylinder if you start on the best cylinders anyway, all the way at the one. And you put pretty much a humongous amount of pressure 
to the point of your thumb getting all sore. Now I did spend a while doing this. So this is not a fresh pick, but I think you want to see how to do this now with a with a Lishi BE2-7. So this is for the A cylinders. So let's just see how to do it. I push pretty heavy. I mean pretty heavy. And you're going to fill each pin sliding down the chambers. So let's just see how easy it is. You got a solid click on one. I mean, you're going to get solid clicks all the way through this. Solid click on two. Now I let up pressure just slightly. When you're going all the way down to like a number one cut, this is a number number one cut on two. If you don't let up a little bit, you might bend your pick. I doubt it. This is a lifetime pick. But if you feel it, let up a little bit. Especially if you started at one. The only pin you're going to drop is that first pin. There's a good click on three. Good solid click. I have a lot of pressure here, guys. More than most. Good click on four. Good click on five. No pins are dropping back. I put light pressure on here for a couple, five, six, seven hours, and that just wasn't the way to do it. A great click on six. Now watch this. Great click on seven. Make sure six is down. Five is down. Four is down. Three is down. Two is down. And one is down. So go back here. Bounce them a little bit if you, if you think you need to. Four. Four clicked again. Hmm. All right, we're going to start over. A lot of pressure on it. Start with one. Got a great click. Two. Good click. Three. Great click. Four is right set, man. Got to get right on that. Five is set. Six is set. Seven is set. Six. Five. That four pin is... Such a troublesome creature. <laughs> you know, I could go through this each and every time. Let's start one more time. I'm going to put more pressure, okay? I, I'm kind of kind of not doing that right now. And you can pull out your pick and stick it in again. Start with one. Got a good click on one. Good click on two. Good click on three. Four, five, six, seven. Let's go back to three. Good click on three. Four, five, six, seven. Boy, you know, this is cold out here. I wonder if the temperature change had anything to do with it. It might have. Wouldn't that be amazing if that really did have something to do with it? 
Ah, oh, we're going to try it again. This really is frustrating because I had it down. I'm telling you, I could knock it through here just in 30 seconds. All right, got pressure. One. Good click on one. Good click on two. Good click on three. Good click on four. Good click on five. Good click on six. Come on, baby. There we go. It's all about the pressure. See, look at my thumb. Now watch. I can get through this. I guarantee you I can get through it now. Just like nothing. I, and just start with one and go to seven. You got to put a lot of pressure on it. I, I, I think I backed off on the pressure this morning. Good click on one. You know how you'll know if you're not putting a lot of pressure? You'll, you'll feel the pin slide back up. Good click on three. I mean, these are solid set. Good click on four. Good click on five. Good click on six. Boy, I love that feeling when they slide down that uh, chamber. Look at that, wide open. Now, I can do that all day long. Oh, if I just get the right pressure. All right, now, here's the pick again. It's the B. E2-7. Now, some of you are saying, well, you know, you're never supposed to put a lot of pressure. I don't know. Maybe you're not saying that. Maybe you say, yeah, that's the way to do it. Good job, right? I feel good about it. So let's pull out this cylinder, and we're going to put in another cylinder that's pinned differently. Okay? Let me get the control key. Here's all the change keys. Control key. Okay, there we go. Control key. And let's get it down here in the face of this. And look how cool that comes out. Isn't this cool? I love this. This is a great system. And we'll just make sure you know I'm putting in enough. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to fool you. I'm not going to do that, okay, ever. There's no point. I just want to show you it can be done and which pick to buy in the USA. Save you all this trouble. I mean, come on. I've spent months trying to figure this out. If they would have just said, you know, USA brand, best cylinder, uh, B2-7A. You know, stamp the A down here if it's out of their way. And then each one of them could A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know, they make a bunch of money on each different one. But if they don't indicate exactly what you need to buy for the U.S. I mean, I'm seeing some websites getting a little better, but you need the rights and the lefts of these picks. They don't make a left. Oh, wait, no, they don't make a right. They only make this one side comes open on the right. But you can take this bad boy and put it on the left, but then you're not seeing nothing on the any indicator here to look at. So... They could make more money off this if they'd make a right and a left of this bad boy. So let's go ahead and stick it down the new cylinder with new bidding. Let's just look at the bidding here. Well, it's got a seven cut. Uh, the nine cut is really a bummer. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Put, I'm going to apply a lot of tension on it, okay? And we're going to start with the furthest one out. Let me make sure this thing's working. You know, I should do what I say. Practice what I say. Put this key down here. Make sure this thing is... All them pins are moving good. Could be the temperature this morning making it a little harder to work with it. It's freezing out here. All right, here we go. Start all the way at one. Put a tremendous amount of tension on it. You're not going to break this pick. It's super solid. I mean, if you hit it with a hammer, you know, you're going to snap it. But if you don't slam it in a door or something, 
and you're pushing good tension on it when you're at the opening, I mean a lot right there, a lot of tension. I mean I can even pick my stand up. That's how much tension there is. So push a lot of tension on it. Good click on one. And the pick is freely going up and down in there, guys. You got to get enough tension on it to bind up all the pins. Good click on two. You can feel every one of the pins slide down the chamber. That's a good, oh, double click on three, but it went back. Good click on four. Good click on five. Good click on six. Oh, and there we are, we're in. See that? We're in. Oh, I love this. Now, I found that if you get crazy and you spend tons of hours and you don't put a lot of tension on this, you can pick it to control. When I say that, control is, is the key that will get the cylinder out. And that's kind of cool because then you can... The purpose of this video is not to pick this lock in front of you guys, but to show you the picks you need to buy for the US of A. Let's get back to the video. In your lab, annex. And you can look at all the pins inside Next, this bag. Let's boy. pick it one more time, because that was fun to watch. All right, we got one, a lot of pressure, enough pressure to pick it up. I'm, I'm picking my stand up, but I'm not gonna break this, this pick, okay? I just found this is so simple. You can consecutively pick through this opening. So I'm gonna push one. Nice and solid, good on one. Great, great click. Great click on two. Good click on three. Now remember, the three is the nine cut. So it's way up there. That can fool you. That's a troublesome thing. When there's a nine cut in there, you got you got real problems. All right, now four is a great click. I love the sound of them things popping. Oh, good solid click. Nothing has ran back up into the into the uh, chambers up to the uh, the top of the cylinder because I've got so much pressure here, so much tension. Oh, three clicks on six. That's really not good. I probably don't have enough tension there. And a good solid click on seven. And I probably overset six, but maybe not. When you get talking, you, yeah, four is. We're gonna start over. Why not? I mean, this is a blast. All right, here we go. A lot of tension. Enough to put a crease in my finger, but I have been doing that for a while. So here we go. One. Great click. Great click on two. Good click on three. Great click on four. Great click on five. Oh, you know, six didn't go back up. I just felt it go back up. You know what? Not enough tension, guys. We're going to start over. Make sure everything's back to zero. Got a lot of tension on there. One. Two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, 
Might be the three, because you know the three is that nine cut. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. We're going to start over. Man, oh man. We're going to put a lot of tension on it. I'll put it right here, not on the, the soft part of my thumb. I can barely do that. All right, we start with one, two, Good click on two. Good click on three, four, five. Six is, was loose. It was not binding. Here it popped back. You know what I think it is? I think it's three. I'm just not setting three. Maybe not. Let's start. One. No, you gotta, you gotta pull them out and get them pins, get them pins all back up again. There's so many down a chamber. I did open it once. You know, once is good, isn't it? That's success. One. Great click. You know, you see that? I think I'm oversetting the two. If I just hang on to this outside handle, kind of hard to do. But I, you get a great feel just holding on to that. There's two shear lines right there and there on the three chamber. There are no security pins in here. So they're all just regular pins. Great click on five. Great click on six. Great click on seven. Well, maybe I should just hang on to the end. You know, don't push up. I think pushing up here changes everything because the poor pick is sliding back and forth like that. I feel I have it wound tight. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it all wrong. But that, that works consecutively for me. I could do this just watching the TV. So there we have it. The best pick for best cylinders by Lishi. The BE2-7. And you know what you're going to find? you're going to find the BE2-7 is seldom used because everybody buys the six pins. And I'll tell you a little reason why. is because they're cheaper. So when you're doing seven, you got more pins to put down that chamber. You got to cap one more extra cap. You got to cut one more extra uh, cut of depth in your key and they're a little harder to pull out and and I, I get a little bit cheaper six pin versus seven pin not much we're talking pennies here but they are cheaper so there we have it guys this is a great way to end the show with success now I'm going to show you exactly the list of Lishi picks for the USA. So this is the second on the list. A great pick. Go ahead and buy it. I highly suggest it. It works great. You saw I can get through this cylinder pretty easy. I mean, I did practice a lot on it, but it's not that. It's, it's just having enough tension. You just have to have enough tension here 
to pick through this lock. So get it right here on the knuckle of your thumb if you can. You can still feel the feedback. Good click on one. Great click. See, that's all the way down. And then you jump up to the nine. Good click on three. Let's get this four. That four is a hard one. Good click on four. Good click on five. Good click on six. Let's get it right over the right over the top of that pin. Come on, baby. Let off pressure a little bit. There we are, we're in. So that was a lot of pressure. I used my thumb knuckle because my skin is just torn to pieces. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe to my channel and tell your friends. We're going to have more of the series of 23 picks in the U.S. of A. 23 picks like these for the U.S.A. That's a great pick. And this thing will last you a lifetime. Look at how it works. This is so cool. Look at how that works. Isn't that cool? This is a Leashy original. Great pick. Well, there you have it, guys. I had a blast showing you this video. Hopefully, you'll be able to purchase these Leashy picks from all the suppliers that just are all over the internet and try to buy maybe $150 worth of Leashies and you won't have to pay shipping. Wouldn't that be great? Or maybe you get free shipping. I don't know. If these were sold on Amazon, you'd get it. But you're going to have a blast. You know, this sport is so much fun. And if you do it for a living, this is an invaluable pick. So please buy this pick from one of your various suppliers. And you're going to say, man, this thing's great. Thanks again, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends. Hit that like button, super like button, and cup of coffee, and maybe I'll have more videos like this. And I will, because this is a series on the list. I'm going to have this whole list. I'm going to show you every pick that Leashy makes, 23 of them, and all the different locks they'll go through. Because I purchased, or I had, most of the locks, and I got the rest from the various suppliers. So I could pick through them with the USA picks, all 23 of them. Thank you guys. Please subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, and I'll have more door and lock tips coming your way again. Thanks.
Here's a little sneak peek behind the scenes. It takes so much time just to set it up. You know, you look at the photos and all the videos and you say, oh man, I need to move this around or change this for the scene. You want to make it look cool, right? Something that you guys are interested in. I hope you're enjoying learning about lock picking, but really most importantly here, learning which picks to buy for the USA. That's why I'm doing this series. So stay tuned, tell your friends, and I'm going to finish this series. It's going to take a little while, but bear with me. You'll enjoy it, and you'll hit a search in the end, and you'll be able to find these on YouTube by just typing in the number on the pick. Can you believe it? <laughs> Thanks again, guys, and stay tuned. Here's the PDF that I printed out of this pick. It's a BE2-7, and it's for best A key only. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Have a great one. That BE2-7 stands for a best seven pin pick for A cylinders, the letter A. I'll have more door and lock tips like this coming your way in the future. Yeah.